Welcome to B-Side TV. My name is Jamila White and I'm here with Madison Malone. She'll be performing two songs for us today. The first one is going to be Quiet Down. Take it away. Quiet down, keep it low. No need to tell them who you are. Wear the mask, they won't know. If you love them or him or her I don't believe that love could be a sin When I show you Safe within her arms They can't tell me the way I'm living Does anyone harm? If there's a God, I'm sure they brought you to me Why not show you? For my B side, I'm going to be playing Simple Love. I want to marry you under a tree, saying our vows in front of family. Oh, I want to marry you under a tree. Filled with pictures inside Telling the story of our beautiful life Oh, I want our house filled with pictures inside Oh, it's really simple love Oh, it's really simple love Oh, it's really simple love Backyard with a swing on a rope. We'll play with our children until they grow old. Oh, I want a backyard with a 
Thank you so much. That was so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It was lovely, <laughs> yeah, fun. Good. I'm glad. So I know that you said your music, you want it to be the kind of first saving grace and then also how you want to use light to kind of bring out the dark. So can you further expand on that? Yes. I think that we experience a lot of, you know, troubles and things that happen in life. And I think that art is there to be able to shed light on the darkness. So if you're in a rut or something is happening or, you know, injustices in the world. Art is there to make us feel that we're all feeling horrible about whatever situation or I can sit in my sadness or I can sit in my fear or whatever it is through art. So I want to make music that makes people feel good, but also touches on important issues. Perfect. And then also, so you were born and raised in Wisconsin. Yes. So do you see, because you moved out here about three years ago, do you see any type of difference in your music, um, different topics that you're kind of touching on now that you weren't necessarily when you um, touching on when you lived in Wisconsin? Yeah, for sure. For one, it's just that everybody out here is super talented. And anytime I see an artist perform, I'm like, how do I create a song or a moment? Like they created a song or a moment. So definitely it's put a fire under my butt to be like, hey, this is your craft, you know, <laughs> care about every single word. Yeah. Um, so in that instance, I think I've become a better writer and um, just being surrounded by it. But also topic-wise, yeah, I'm openly pansexual and feel comfortable talking about it in L.A. And it's, L.A. just helped me feel more like myself and it's accept whatever it is yeah. that I feel. Yeah. Nice. And then finally, do you also, um, just going off of that, and your entire experience, you're creating an EP. So will we yes. see those topics in your EP? Yes. Yeah. So that first song I played, um, Quiet Down, is about being loud about your love and being proud and sharing your love with the world and talking about it with the world. Um, but yeah, then other songs coming out are about, you know, um, understanding who you are. Even I touch a lot on melancholy and nostalgia. Like I'm picture myself as a child and picture other people as children too and that 
that we're all, we have this innocence and crazy imagination. So I hit on that a lot with songs too. And also with the political climate and everything yeah. that's happening in our world, just touching on it throughout songs. Yeah. One saving the world, one song at a time. I'm trying, I'm just trying. Do you think for you, is that what you're most excited about? And for this EP is kind of touching on these topics that don't really get talked about or is it something else? I think it's a combined thing. I think that I, I can be the voice for people who don't have voices or aren't able to speak up the way that they want or need to, if I can be a platform for people and also just um, opening people's hearts and minds into other ways of life and of what life is, that it's many colors, many variations and many, you know, beautiful landscapes. So. And then what is your favorite B-side um, tape? Okay, yes. So she asked me this beforehand, and I was like racking my brain even yeah. while I was playing. But I'm just gonna go it's with coming, what it's coming. I'm gonna go with what like hit me in the chest yeah. right away, which is Gwen Stefani, yes. early winter. Um, I don't know why. It's just one that um never really made it on the radio, yeah. and it's a good one. Not that I love Gwen, but it's not like she's my favorite artist. Yeah. But that is a song that I think the production is great, first, and yeah. it's about uh you know losing a love <laughs> it's a good song <laughs> i can't argue with that for you and where can everyone find you on social media you can go to madison malone music that's my instagram handle facebook everything but also if you just type in madison malone on spotify youtube apple music all that you will find my face and my voice <laughs> <laughs> perfect thank you so much for thank joining for us today me. of course my name is jamila white thank you guys for tuning in for b-side tv we'll see you guys later